It's Saturday, May 6th here at the West End Gun Club. It's a relatively quiet morning here at the range. The main line is empty. Already done shooting here, actually. I put some paper targets at 50 and 100 yards just to collect a little bit more data on the Voodoo 360 with the Muller Works barrel. Trying to get some notes that are a little bit more clear because every time I take notes, like I get home and I, they all get all mixed up and I want to have some good data to when I do my write-up on this gun, which is almost done. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and swing up to the upper range, shoot a little bit of steel, and uh, we'll see how the rest of the morning goes. But I didn't really come out here to do too much as far as shooting. Here's my first 30 rounds with Center X. This is a clean cold bore shot, not just a cold bore shot, but a clean cold bore. I did clean this rifle completely maybe last weekend, so it's very clean. First shot and then the next nine. 10 rounds, 10 rounds, and I shot five rounds of Lapu long range, five rounds of Lapu super long range, not much, you know, I should have shot 10, but I don't have much of this ammo left. I only bought one brick of each, and so I'm trying to sparingly use it in my testing because I want to do a little bit more testing with this ammo and other guns. In any case, you can see it's, it's likely not going to be any worse than Center X. This is Ely, so I shot 10 rounds of Ely, then I started shooting more, and then I started having those failures to fire. Had two failures to fire, and I had to pry the, the ammo out of the chamber because they were stuck. Not entirely sure what's going on here. You know, someone reached out to me, and, you know, they mentioned it was Headspace. I seen the video by that YouTube channel about how they it was Headspace issues that likely means Ely, if Ely fail, fails to fire in your Voodoo. Although when it doesn't light up, I mean, I'm not entirely sure if it's a if it's a light strike or not. I, I'm I'm not entirely clear. So maybe I might reach out to Voodoo regarding the firing pin spring. Not sure. Um, and in any case, it does shoot accurately, Ely. This is uh, eight rounds. This is ten rounds. Ten rounds, and this is Ely match. I shot ten rounds of SK rifle match. Although I can't trust this ammo because the first two rounds were like 10.30 and then the rest of them were somewhere in the range of, let me bust up my notes here, somewhere in the range of like 9.70. And sorry, I'm, I'm off camera here, but I'm looking at my notebook. SK rifle match, yeah, it, it dropped down to 9.93 average. So yeah, it's, I don't think I can trust this ammo. And that's a lot, that's way too slow to shoot in a gun. Uh, it's 900,000 feet per second. Uh, then CCS standard velocity was okay, but then you see the shot here, which threw out the groove. And this is 50 yards, so this is not really good. We got a group going here. I'm seeing it on steel. I mean, if my reticle is any indicator, it's two tenths low. Okay. So 13.7, maybe. And the question is, do I true up my dope or I'm going to true up my BC based on this 300 yard zero? It's 301, but it's at an incline. I mean, do we really want to go with a four degree incline? I think it's four degrees. Is it four degrees? Let's check. It's 301 line of sight, 297.7 AMR. Eight degrees.
It's amazing how the wind changed. It's a good uh, six tenths of a mil wind shift or wind uh, increase at 300. I got this 12 by 12 plate on the hillside. It's uh, actually right at 301, according to the, my rangefinder. But uh, you can see here, 12 by 12 plate. I've been trying to look for the elevation to kind of true it up. Kessel says 14.3. I thought it was gonna be 13 and a half. We're pushing roughly 1050 feet per second. I held about two tenths off, then four tenths and about six tenths later on. I was missing some off to the left. In the beginning, I think the wind is just sort of right to left and it's just letting off quite a bit. So made that adjustment there. Finding the elevation, you can see those. there's three, three shots up high, a few shots down low, but I think we're right at 13.7. Angle of the target's eight degrees. It's 297.7 or 297.8 yards line of sight, 301.1 yards AMR. So. Already got the Jeep packed up, just rolled up here to the 300 yard impact area to pull in my steel target and get out of the range. All done shooting, really didn't do much today to be honest. I've been here for a few hours, but not much shooting, a little bit of data collection and just getting an idea of like how this 360 with the Muller Works barrel is going to perform. 100 yards, I'm still trying to work out like how my ammo is gonna be in terms of uh, the groupings. Lapua super long range seems to shoot the best right now with the lots of center X I have. Granted, I'm only down to one lot of center X. All my other lots of center X are pretty much depleted. So I need to get more center X to get a little bit more of a sampling. However, center X is kind of hard to get right now. I am planning on going to the Rimfire Test Center again with this gun and see how it is. I also might reach out to Voodoo about the firing pin spring, maybe get I, I, from my understanding, they were supposed to have been putting the heavier firing pin springs in these guns now, but maybe I'll ask them if I can get another one just in case and swap it. Maybe that might alleviate the Ely issues, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's it for today, May 6th here at the West End Gun Club. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog.